Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Thrag Tusk, and we're going to be sneaking and attacking today. Uh, this is probably the best card in the pack, right? Especially for the Legacy Cube. This is this is really strong. Oh, about to order your first Hungry Howies. Nice. I'm going to take Sneak Attack. I don't think it's even close. Let me know what flavored crust you choose. What kind of crust will you choose? Every day's a new crust adventure. And my internet seems to have gone all the way down, then all the way back up. Chandra Awakened Inferno. Interesting. Also, Kozilak. Hungry Howies or Bojangles? That's hard, because they're not really the same. I don't know. That's a good question. I am still streaming. God, how did you know that? Look, there's a Sword of Sinew and Steel, which is a new addition from Modern Horizons. Kozilek is good with Sneak Attack. Chandra is just good with Chandra. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Emrakul. I mean, we're not going to be flashing it in. Sneaking it in, I should say. All right, well, Chandra. Hole in the Earth said Chandra. So I'm like, okay, hole in the earth. Because I believe... I don't know what I was going to say. I think I was going to... You know what? Don't worry about it. I was going to say, don't worry about it. That's what I was talking about. So we're looking like Mardu. Mardu seems pretty strong here. We got Stoneforge Mystic. We have Colagon's Command, Grave Titan, and a Johnny. Had I not gone to the store, I would have been in the cube. Wow. that's Is that true? Would we have been drafting against one another? Like enemies? Like mortal enemies? Can you imagine? I can't even imagine. I was walking along, minding my business. I do like Grave Titan. Even if you just sneak it in, it's good. I also like Colagon's Command. You put a creature back in your hand, and then you can re-sneak it. Sneak it again. Sneak and sneak again. Sneak and sneak alike. That's what I always say. Yeah, I think it's K, I think it's K Command. Okay, command is just always solid. Oh, I like a Phyrexian Arena. I think it's better than Rabble Master. Plus, we're clearly black, obviously, guys. Yeah, let's take Phyrexian Arena. Let's be black, red, sneakums. Rubon Crag. Never return. Gets rid of Planeswalkers. A Braid. A Braid seems good. I think I like a Braid more than Never Return. Being able to kill an early creature or an artifact. Oh, we have Colagon's Command too. That's nice. I've got Dungeon Master's Guide. I've got 12 sided die. I've got Kitty Pride and Nightcrawler, too. Waiting there for me as I do. <sighs> Posters on the wall. My favorite rock group, Kiss. I've got Ace Freely. I've got Peter Chris. Ren and Six for me. Yes. If you think these are my follow me. <laughs> In the Garage is one of my all-time favorite Weezer songs. Oh my god, look at this new commander. 1-3 with haste for, for 3. Discard a card, draw a card. Tap it to discard a card and draw a card. So you're tapping it to, uh, to rummage. Whenever you discard a card, if it has madness, you untap and hey, Falcon Wrath. This pack's alright. I mean, Legion Warboss is cute. Experimental Friend. I, mean, I think Ren and Six is probably the pick. Or then we can take this Raging Ravine. Also, Vraska is very, very good. I'm going to take the Fixing Land, though, I think.
I've got Ace Freely. I've got Peter Chris waiting there for me as I do. Oh, Season Pyromancer came back? Not even close, dude. Spellskite's alright. We could have taken Spellskite. Rattleclaw Mystic's two of our colors, though, so if we are green. I think it just depends on uh, how many uh, how many fixing lands we can get before playing like double black card, green card, black card. Amrakul came back. Sort of Sinew and Steel came back. I'm just going to take the Emrakul. I mean, it's still 13 damage off Sneak Attack. It's not the best Emrakul because it has no enter the battlefield. It's literally like just Fireball your face for 13. But that's not terrible, let's be honest. P and Karen L R. Alright. Stoneforge Mystic still. Jeez. Sort of hot dog and sandwich. <laughs> hey, I found the spider again. He came back out. I gotta, I gotta find a little thing to put on, put on him so he can't get out. Though I gotta, I gotta get him in the thing so I can take him outside. I guess we'll take exquisite fire throw. I wonder if he's just gonna hang out there with me. He's just sitting here for now. He's like, hey, buddy, listen. I bet I could take a picture on my phone to show him to you guys. He's, no, it's too far. He's too tiny. He's too tiny. Dang it, I wish I had a cup or something around here. I just need to get this guy outside. What can I do? Uh, I can't. I don't have anything. I got this Twitch bowl. Is this flat enough surface? Maybe. I feel like he could probably get out of this. This is not super flat, I don't think. Maybe. He's a fat boy. Oh, he's on the run! Got him. I think. <laughs> Hope I got him. Yeah, I'll take Blue Kronos in case we're... Alright, ideally he'll just hang out under there until we're done. Oh, that's a good one. I took the bowl that all these, like, Mios are in. I have a little bowl that has a bunch of... It's a, it's actually a Twitch bowl. And it's got a bunch of Mios in it. And I just took that and put it underneath them. Or on top of them, actually. So, once I get a second, I'll find some thick paper and slide it underneath and take that bad boy outside. That's my step. Alternate picks with the spider. <laughs> oh, man. Has there been any evolution of the Scrober Bober narrative? Uh, so here's the thing. Uh... Wyatt, a uh, YouTube viewer, left, uh, he messaged me on, he commented on YouTube and he's like, hey, if I wrote a, another part to the fan fiction, where could I send it? And I was like, oh my god, please send it to this email address, right? And so he sent it over and it's called Into the Moochelverse and it's another, it's another part of the Mike B fanfic. I don't understand how you guys are writing like 7,000 words at a time about Mike B. It's actually mind-blowing. But it's like six pages of fanfic. So uh, I'm going to read that next week, I believe, when Mike is available and we can read it then. So I assume that will have, uh, you know, some... That'll have some update to the, the Bober Scrubber narrative. It's actually unbelievable. Like that 13,000 words so far about, about that have been written about Mike B. Where can you find part one? Part one is actually on YouTube. I uploaded it to my YouTube page, and it's called The Ballad of Mike B. Ooh, this is a good Chandra. 
Ooh, this is a good Chandra. He said. Uh, kind of weirdly, I guess. Yeah, I have no... I, I can't even understand. Yeah, we're just taking the Chandra. There's nothing else in that pack that's even close. I wholeheart I wholeheatedly approve of this continuing fanfic. See, me and my friend Andrew got in a discussion the other day about pointing out typos, right? And how they really... It really provides nothing. You know they made the typo. They made. They know they made the typo. <clears throat> and all you're really doing is kind of just being a dick about it, right? So, like... It's something that I, I want to break because, like, I do... I, I, I'm very detail-oriented, obviously. Uh, and, you know... Having worked in words for so long that I notice them. So, I, I, I think I have a tendency to point them out. Um, because they're just... Maybe they're more apparent to me. But, um... I think it's, it just adds nothing. <laughs> You're better than me. Just Renekabe, I love your consistency of being able to get into the into the matches with me. That's good. I agree with you. Okay, you know what? Ooh, it's hard. You're making it rough. I wonder if reanimate's good here. Do we have like we have season pyromancer to discard? We can discard Emrakul, reanimate it, take twelve thousand damage. I mean, this pack this pack is interesting. We got an Ugin, but we're like we're not we don't have any mana. Like four mana is really like where we where we're trying to make things happen. Rav, don't ban like I would ever, as if I could ever, Doug. That I was most curious because we're trying to type and hold a live conversation. We don't really yeah, that's that's also true, and also because of phones. Like something like heartedly is gonna be type be changed to heatedly, you know. Like there's, it's very easy. Green warden, mm, green warden's actually not terrible for sneak attacking, but it's pretty rough if we're not sneak attacking. I almost kind of want pyroclasm or chupacabra. Chupacabra is good too. I think I'm taking chupacabra. Even chupacabra with sneak attacks fine. One mana for a. It's like being able to. Uh, it's it's like a uh, it's like a shriek off for one mana that kills anything. Grammar gets me more than typos. See what I did there? I do. I regrettably do. Oh, Force of Negation in the cube. That's fascinating. Grim Monolith? I want this Dragon Skull summon, but I ain't passing no Grim Monolith. What are you, crazy? What was that, turn three, six mana Chandra? That spider was going so fast, dude. I feel like if all spiders went really slow, I'd be like, you guys are so much less scary. It's because when they go fast, I'm like, oh shit, you're being so aggressive. I've got... Did you nap? I had to sell some sofas and ha no, I actually didn't nap. I just came right back and I was like, you know what? Well, whatever. I'm feeling all right now. I was feeling a little fatigued, but now I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I've got posters on the wall. My favorite rock group kiss. I've got Ace Freely. I've got Peter Chris waiting there for me. Yes, I do. Um, look at this. Look at this! Look at this gruel sideboard we got here. What if spiders like jumped in your face? But what if, what if spiders like jumped in your face? But before they did, they yelled "bak ba." Um, I imagine that'd be. Well, it depends on how they do it. If it's like, because there's a way you could do that where it's scary, and then there's a way you could do that where I'm like, "Spider, you're just being funny." Did you look at the link I left? What was the link you left? Uh, fatal push is good. I do like Mindstone though. I want to be able to hit these four drops, my dudes. I also want to... Can I get some Eldrazi up in this thing? Can I get a Gristle Bee? A Bristly Gristle Bissle? Mc... McMissile? Oh, buck ba! Oh, the sound effect. Yeah, ooh, Massacre Worm seems fantastic. Hard cast it, sneak it out, whatever you want to do. Yeah, we're definitely taking that guy. Also, Upheaval. And a Doom Blade. Doom Blade's good. I'm not a Doom Blade hater.
Bedevil is nice. Avalanche Riders. Man, I would love a Woodfall Primus. You know what? I don't even care that he costs triple green. Do you still watch? I never, I never actually regularly watch Game Grumps. I just picked up things here and there. Read the bones is all right. I guess I think it is just Bedevil. It's just too versatile. And it was just all Graham Grumps memes? Wow, really? That's what did it? Dang. Funny joke. I have no idea why the Dak Faden is still here. It might be Thran. Hmm. Especially with Legion War Boss, that seems good. Uh, I'm definitely not splashing Dak, considering we don't have any blue... We don't even have any on-color uh, dual lands, let alone blue dual lands. I think Yawgmoth's actually fine. Oh, uh, Lava Coil and Dismissive Pyramids. Toxic Deluge is just gas. Yeah, I'm going to take the Toxic Deluge here. If we're playing like a black-red mid-rangey control deck, I think Toxic Deluge is just bonkers. Matthew, I literally referenced Cockatrice on here. I have no idea how to process any of this, though. I think it's a blowout. I think it's. I think you're just having a blowout here, right? But I literally made the comment about Cockatrice, and you literally responded to it, and you were like, "I'm. I'm not. I don't have all the rares and mythics on Arena." And I was like, "Okay." So then you're gonna ask me if I saw that, but that's how I, like. <laughs> didn't you respond to me? I'm gonna take Fire Ice. I think Fire is still playable as a two mana instant. So this spider is underneath this thing right now, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, how long can you imprison a spider? Like, don't they get bored? Do animals get bored? Oh, this pyroclasm came back? Sweet. Sweet. Actually, maybe it's Green Warden. Oh, Dragon Skull Summit. Yes! That's exciting. That's exciting. Star of Extinction? I'll Matthew Ori this thing. Got him. I can spend hours and hours on the web without getting bored. Wow. That's great. That's quality. Wandering Funeral. Uh, that's almost playable with our Fire Ice. Let's see if the Dak Faden comes back, guys. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're past that, but still, nonetheless. Does home insurance? Probably not. I, I don't think so. Also, all those spider memes about burning your house down, it's like, just take that little dude outside, man. They ain't gonna hurt you. It's like people... What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Are you kidding me? Cockroaches are disgusting, and they provide no they provide no value whatsoever. Spiders, however, are extremely valuable uh, members of the ecosystem. Cockroaches are abs absolutely vomit-inducing. 
and have no beneficial uh, no beneficial qualities don't at me wow this deck Faden in the last literal last pick deck Faden get out of here man I don't think we want Vraska's Contempt we already have Bedevil I think Flame Tongue Cobb is probably pretty good what benefit do mosquitoes have? I don't think any. I personally don't think any. I bet someone's going to be like, well, actually, mosquitoes are a vital part of the zip do doo zip dop do And you're going to be like, but I don't care. Yeah, we're just going to take Flame Tonguey. Flamey McTungerson. Oh, Shieldred? Oh, Shieldred's a bad sneak attack target, unfortunately. This is my biggest problem with the sneak attack deck. It's like you draft it, and then like at the end, you're like, I don't have any sneak attack. I don't have anything to sneak attack. Actually, mosquitoes are essential to the diet of birds and bats. All right, that's fair. I fuck. That's I love birds and bats, so that's fine. God, I really hate that. That's a real thing, but I think it's like, yeah, that's actually legit. I think. I think. I guess. I think actually, shoulder it. Do mosquitoes pollinate blood flowers? Is that a thing? Did you just make that shit up. Are you making things up right now? I'm gonna take shoulder. I think shoulder is a better card, and especially when we have Grim Monolith, we can actually just play it on like turn four. I mean, I could see like, I could see Sundering Titan come back less than shoulder, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna take shoulder. I like, I just like shoulder better, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I just like a shoulder better. I'm gonna take this Zealous Conscripts for sure. Can I just get some lands in this pack? I think our deck is good. I don't think we need. I don't think we need any more nonsense here. Oh, bad lands. The baddest of lands. Perfect. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Angras Rampage. Through the Breach. Have we seen a, a, a Aeon's Torn yet? I think it's through the breach. Through the breach. We don't need Angrass Rampage. We already have Colgon's Command and Bedevil. Through the breach is... Come on, Emrakul. Someone pass me that beautiful Emrakul. Roll that beautiful Emrakul footage. This pack is hot shit. I'm going to take... Firebolt's fine. We don't have a ton of small guy removal. I'm pretty sure the Mosquitoes were one of God's plagues, but he loads... He, he loads. He decided to leave it there. Because he needs... Wow. Oh, Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. Did that guy do anything, though? I almost want the Lava Claw Reaches or the Mere Battle Sphere instead. Meh. Oh, he low-key decided to leave the, there because, yeah, that makes... Uh, I don't like... I don't like Pact. I mean, it's fine, but I just don't... I just don't care. We have tons of removal. We have Toxic Dealers, Fight with Fire... Coligon's Command, Bedevil, Flame Tongue Cabo, Ravenous Chupacabra, Braid, Fire. I mean, we have plenty of things. The problem with this is that it hits once and you're like, alright, XL the top 20. And then you're done and you're like, that's it. I think I'd rather just have Lava Claw, guys. Woodfall Primus! Oh, Through the Breach and Sneak Attack? Yes. Excellent. 20 cards just doesn't impress me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emrakul fans. Or Ulamog fans. 20. M Ulamog, yeah. Uh, you're not casting it. It doesn't remove two permanents, though. You're not casting it. Removing two permanents is a cast trigger on the on the Eldrazi's. Woodfall Primus is legit. Probably going to take out Fight with Fire for now. Maybe PN Kieran Nalar. Eh, maybe those guys are fine. Get owned. <laughs> Got him. Cast it then, nerd. Wow. That's rude. <gasps> Look, guys. Sundering Titan came back. <sighs> I'm probably going to take this Emrakul out now. Get 
Yeah, I agree with cutting deck. I think it's reasonable to stay two colors here when we only have one wandering fumarole. I do like that we have three of our three of our dual lands though. Deck streets back. All right. Well, considering we're already tabling things, I don't foresee us getting an Emrakul. I'll take a BB Elf. BBE. Four fatties is not a lot. What? How dare you? I don't. I, I don't care. What do I care? I'll just play them naturally then. I'll cast them with my Grim Monolith Mindstone combination. I could also discard them with Season Pyromancer. I don't think our deck is lacking uh, things to do. Young Pyromancer, that actually seems playable in our deck. Man, that spider's still under the thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Angress Rampage came back. Wow. We're just getting it all. How's the ice cream? Nice. Been a rough summer? Dang, that sucks. I never feel like it's to be rough because it's like, it's ice cream. Like, what more do you need? Yeah, okay. Okay. 24 cards. We have a Braid, Fire, Toxic, which is not great with Young Pyromancer. These two. I guess we can actually board in Toxic Deluge if it's good. Cookie Dodo. Uh, that's my favorite dinosaur, the Cookie Dodo. I guess that's a bird, not a dinosaur. But I guess they're the same thing, really, so... Also, Young Pyromancer and Thran seems very good. I don't know how many... Uh, we literally have like four targets, four, uh, four hits for it, right? Bedevil, Coligon's Command, and a Braid. Yeah, it's not great here, unfortunately. Yeah, this looks like the deck. I think this deck looks fine. Everybody. Florida's okay. I don't dislike it. I like that while watching a stream on Twitch, Matthew's giving kids a hard time that are glued to iPads and TVs on YouTube. <laughs> it's like, well, maybe if these kids weren't glued to screens, he says into the Twitch chat. Good times, good times. Uh, nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. 13, 14, 15, 16. We need one more, huh? Could just be 8, uh, 7. This is 10, 10. And we do want to have double, double, double. 
And double for Bedevil. Yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep the sand. Oh, look who can afford a can. Oh, you got Mr. Uh, you got Mr. Moneybags over here. Moneybags Super Fritz, that's what I like to call him. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. Toxic Deluge, where's my Deluge at? My grandpa gave me that can. <laughs> All right, well. Boy, we're definitely bringing in the firebolt. Still another deluge, come on. Just another deluge. And you and me in paradise. Let's play this guy. Let's discard, like, conscripts and Chandra just to make sure we can... Just because I want to get a bunch of bodies on the board. Yeah. Oof. That's good, because now we can go this guy next turn, and this guy eventually. Chandra does seem good, but it's like, if by turn six, like, we already want to kind of stabilize. Uh, Devil's Play or Banefire? I think Devil's Play is the better card in something like a cube. The uncounter ability is usually not relevant. Well, shit. Oh, dear God. So, block you. Block you. And block you. They have one, two, they have four toughness. We have four power. So, we're just going to do one of these jobbies. Go to four. Oh, boy. That's sad. If only that dealt three damage. If only this was an artifact. If only, if only, if only. It's the world I want to live in. Oh, literally you're just gonna... That's good. That's nice. Oh, Jesus. Well, we're not dead. We're pretty dead. <laughs> what all right yeah 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 okay well that's the thing I guess all right so firebolt comes in hmm God, we have we're actually our deck seems pretty good against this. Yeah, I can see just bringing in you, bringing in these two, take out uh, big guy, big guy, sneak attack through the breach. All the dancers in your grand cafe. Yeah, let's try it like that. Actually, Rampage is good too, but I think it's too late. Badger, what's going on, my dude? Good seeing you. Sweet F.A. What does that mean? Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. How's moving? Did you move yet or are you still moving? Are you in the process of moving? Should be packing and moving. Wow. 
It's like you literally read my mind. It's like you knew. It's like you knew what I was going to say. Oh man, Beaumont Courier, why you gotta act like this? Don't ask why. Don't ask me why. Removalists come and take the big. What is removalists? Are those like movers? Is that is that like a is that like a, a term? I've never heard of yeah I've never heard the term removalist we just call them movers uh, I will not pay too red to do that I do appreciate the offer though I will take two damage one two three Thank you. arena playing a dangerous game Planeswalker Academy, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, removalist is like... Yeah, it's an assassin. I couldn't think of anything clever. I'm just like... Wow, that's really rude. You want some money? <laughs> I mean, the answer is always yes, right? But I mean, you don't have to just—you don't have to just give me money for the sake of giving me money, Badger. This is fascinating. I'd be like, I'm good. Pass. What? I mean, I'll take an extra three here because we're going to get to Massacre Worm next turn. Don't ask me why. <laughs> no, I'm talking about damage, Badger. God. Jeez. All right, we're basically dead to this chicken. Oh, we're not dead to the chicken anymore. That's fantastic. All right, so we can go one, two, three, four. Choops, magoops. Oh, this is just gonna win us the game right here. This is insane. Cast fire, shoot, shoot. Wow, this is bonkers. They take four more. They take six. And assuming they don't have, like, uh, exquisite firecraft, I guess we're good to go. No four damage burn spell. Wow. That game turned great. They took six off their Phoenix and their Gorger. That was beautiful. I think Phyrexian Arena is a little dangerous here, but... Uh, Avalanche Rider could... Mm -hmm. yeah, it's... <sighs> Secret of the Way would be nice. Ren and Six would also be nice. We just don't have a way to effectively really cast it. You don't have anything else up here? No, I guess this is fine. All right. All right. Everything else is good. Yeah, 
Yeah, Rattle Claw's not terrible, but as a three mana spell, like I think all of our other three three mana spells are probably better. So we can firebolt any or anything early, and then we can uh, greater gargledon, greater googledons. Oh, biscuits! Can we come in your van, Mister Ice Cream Guy? No, kid, get out of here. Get out of here, kid. You bother me. All right, so greater gargledon is going to be. Problematic, I think. It's a yikes for me, dog. Okay. Gooblin good. Shut up and take my money. Flame tongue cob is nice. One greater Google Don buck. Nice. Nicely done. The old Greater Google Dawn. Okay, so I think we can take three here, but then we're taking another two from the Deluge. It's just five total, whereas if we just save the Deluge, I think we're going to fire this guy. World's Greatest Google Dawn. Oh, they didn't actually sack it to their thing. That's great news. All the dancers in your grand cafe. Greater Google don't attack. Oh, burst lightning my face if that's your way. I miss cube drafts every day of my life. Every day. Um. So the good thing about making them discard a card and killing this Bomat Courier is that if they want to draw the card, they have to they have to sack this first and then draw the two cards, and they still have to discard one. We're basically prioritizing life life here over uh, sacrifice it. Excellent. Sword of Fire and Ice. That is a solid. That's a solid sword. Hmm. Well, six damage here. Seven, eight, nine damage. So four, five, six, seven. Actually, if we hit one more land, we can use both of these to get rid of Gargadon. Oh God! Stop! Stop this! I think we're just gonna die to Gargadon, which is really weird. Like it's just gonna have haste when it comes into play. We don't really have anything to deal with it at that particular juncture. Yeah. However, Flame Tongue Cobb is a good one. Let's see if they know the. Oh yes, they didn't do it. If they sack Flame Tongue Cobb is worded in such a way that like, uh, it deals four damage to target creature. It doesn't matter who it is. So if they sacked this before, the Flame Tongue Cobb was on in the battlefield, we would have had to kill our own Flame Tongue Cobb. Why would we deluge for thirteen? We could just deluge for. Se oh, I see what you're trying to do here. Good times. Hmm. Make two one ones. Oh, you can sack both of the Gargadon. Wow, that's insane. Does Gargadon sack a land too? Oh, they're just gonna cast a burst. Is it 
very fascinating. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Well, they could sack three lands, deal us nine. They have one card in hand. They have no cards in hand. God, we really need a thing here. Like, they got it. This has to be the turn, right? They sack two lands and Gargano. What? Why are they... What's happening here? Why are they valuing this so much? Well, Chupacabra is better than wasting the other two spells, so... How about a shielder? Can I get a shielder? I don't know what's going on here. Shut up and take my money. Vin Ethanol. I've heard I've had a really hard day and I'm drunk and you're a good person. Here's the money. Vin, thank you so much, man. I'm sorry about your hard day, buddy. Lava Claw Smeeches. Okay, so now we know this guy's just gonna come right on down. Yeah, you had a bad day. Yeah, they didn't sack Bowmaker to it. They didn't sack Rick's Mad Eye Reveler to it. It seems like they just didn't. Uh, they might just not be super familiar with how Suspend works and how Greater Gargadon specifically works. Oh boy. Okay, well, we're not dead. Although I don't feel great about things. Chupacabra. All right, so we're gonna activate, we don't need this man anymore, so we're gonna play one, two, three. Actually, there's no reason to do that, right? They have one card in hand. Yeah, we're just gonna attack with this guy for regular damage. We gotta start trying to do the thing. And Hellrider's in the graveyard, which is very, very nice for us. Wow, okay, well, well. So you had a bad day. Turn yourself around. Somebody do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're probably just gonna keep a braid up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll just go to combat first, huh? Yeah. Hasty dragons are pretty scary though. If they draw like a hasty dragon, we're just dead, right? Plus next, plus so. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Done. And then, like, I'll shoot it. And I'm like, oh, biscuits. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's the end. We had a good run, guys. Two cards on the bottom. All right, we ain't dead yet. Oh. God, don't. Di oh, good games. Good games. Let me say it. Don't disappear. Come on. They're conceding because I can't. Oh my god, I can't believe we beat this deck. Good games. So many mountains. Dang. So you had a bad day. Wonder how the spider's doing on the floor over here. Do you have a bad day? The scoop I didn't do. Why is this song stuck in my head? I don't know. I don't know. Where's your son today? Uh he he has a job that he goes to sometimes. Not often, but sometimes.
I will play first. Do you mind if I do a shameless plug for something? No, go for it. Hey, knock yourself out, huh? We'll try this hand. I think this hand is rough, but... You know. We can cast shoulder. We can cast anything we draw. I don't know. What are you going to do? Do we go to sleep here? Or do we go to, do we go to six here? I don't know why I said sleep there. That's pretty funny. You guys think, yeah, we could keep this hand. Or we could just go to sleep here. I don't know. Those are our, those are our options here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Better than Sea Devil. Not as good as A Devil, though. It probably is because Vin Dethanol was like, Had a hot day, I'm dunking in the south, living in the state, and my name is Sam, because you had a bad day. That's probably why. Alright, so Fertile Ground are probably bringing in Avalanche Riders. Uh, we can kill Mindstone and make them discard? It's not terrible. I think that's probably probably okay. Put some at the four mana rather than put some five mana rather than six mana next turn. I don't know if it's great. Also, not gonna be able to post to YouTube. Well, just ruined it. Demonetized. I don't know, man. I think six mana is scarier than. Could also just discard these two for Season Pyramids. You could just discard the one. Yeah, let's do that. Discard one Shieldred and one Mountain. <laughs> Draw two lands. Okay. Okay, man. We could kill their discard and make them Mind Stone. That's true. Cause you had a bad day, primeval titan. They always have it. Gonna search for two lands, put them in the hand. Actually, they go into play on the land. Wow. Wow. Well, see, they could have done that no matter what, so. What an absolute scum bucket. Bucket of scum. Hey Frank and hey Chad, I created a new meme account with Dan's on Instagram today called Goat Splaining. If you become fond of my wacky shenanigans, unique sense of humor, and general in your face attitude, I strongly encourage you to give us a follow. What is Goat Splaining? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. Oh god. <laughs> uh just having a real hard time here guys okay so avalanche riders coming into the deck do 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 do, do, do. riding the avalanche I'll bring this in because it deals with artifacts uh we can take out probably flame tongue kavu maybe actually i'd probably daily eh, yeah daily just eh, yeah okay Oh, Hungry Harry's gift certificate. Wow. You guys are generous. Wow. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Come on. Going to five.
Cause you had a bad day. How did you like Spider-Man Far From Home? I loved it. I thought it was fantastic and I've seen it twice. I thought Quentin Beck as Mysterio, Jake Gyllenhaal did a fantastic job. And I could not have asked for a better uh, rendition of Mysterio. I'm like four, five, six. Mike's dad is also far from home. Wow. Accurate. Harsh, but true. Oh, I like that. Oh, um, I'm also tempted to just play, if we hit any land, we can just play Phyrexian Arena, which I like. I don't know if I want to use a monolith for that specifically. Healing up from hernia surgery, oh no. So you had a bad day, scootin' doo-doo. And you're sitting around. It's a good song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. We played we waited for the Avalanche Rider. Sure. You got it. I'll draw red here. Uh well, it's not the red we're looking for, unfortunately, but whatever. That's fine. It's okay. We're still still doing the deed. Acidic slime, kill your lava claw reaches. Cool. Does the fun ever start? So you had a bad day. Play your lava claw. Drawn some cards, but we can't get eleven and right. Oh yeah, get that get that plow under my dude. Oh, get that wasteland, huh? This is some solid magic we're playing here, guys. Jesus. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, interesting. I will not be uh, paying for this guy. Ooh, Mega Man is gas. Mega Man is gas. Straight gasoline. Guess I'll take two. It takes two to make a thing go right. What did they choose? Artifact creature or land, right? Okay. Guess you got me. I mean, it's funny because I feel like they're so busy worrying about our mana that, like, they actually hurt themselves. Sure. Can I, can I click this one? Oh, can I? I'm trying to click it. There we go. <laughs> 
Why aren't you clicking? Sure. You got it. All right. If you were a breakfast cereal, what would you be? Does it, I mean, so is it, is it based on what I would want, like my favorite cereal or a cereal I maybe like identify with? It's a hard question, man. You're asking the hard questions. It's your boy, Tom. Crutch Jr., what's going on, buddy? How was your Friday? It's only Thursday. I think we're going to lose this game based on uh, a card called uh, Phyrexian Arena. Phyrexian Arena is a real... It's a real thing. It's a real to-do, guys. All right, so... Yeah, we're basically dead, right? Uh, we can play a land. I guess we can play Legion War Boss, block the Eternal Witness. Jesus, this is brutal. I turn on your stream and the first thing I see is Elk here spamming emotes. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise anyone, right? Dan's, I really need you to explain this goat splaining Instagram account to me. I thought we had a, a conversation about this. About these about these meme accounts that don't make any sense whatsoever. Phyrexian Arena. That's our Frank. <laughs> Oh, a nice Thran Dynamo. Oh, I would play Coalition Relic or something. You ready? Oh, Toxic Deluge. Then you just kill me. Seems good. No, Dismember, rather. Okay, you got it. Seems good. So you had a bad day. They won the match. We couldn't play spells because they're... A son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Alex has new ideas, but doesn't know how to use Photoshop, so I help make them come to for it. God, Ugh, God, I feel like you're doing. I feel like you're still doing the devil's work, my friend. Uh, I will keep this hand, even if we discard these guys to Pyromancer, man. Please, that song. <laughs> Is that not good, Badger? Are we uh? No, no bueno? Well, if it's already stuck in your head... Good luck, have fun, you too, with double exclamation marks, because I'm very excited about you having fun. Have some fun. One, two, three, four, five, six mana, huh? What can we do with six mana? Literal nothing. Cause you had a worm day. Zoom, do, do, do. Use a season pyromancer, use a tech for two. Chandra. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can Chandra and then play Season Pyromancer. That's not, it's not bad, but then we don't have mana for the... Uh, we can discard Sundering Titan and, like... We can also just bedevil this Garrick, which I think is fine. No, we can't. We don't have double black. Let's do one of these jobbies. Let's see if, let's see if this is good. You... Uh, add dose. And this guy. Dan's with the 500 bits? How do you even exist, Dan's? How are you real? 
This is for your flight to New York. Man, that that thing is slowly filling up. My uh my New York flight fund is we're getting there. I'm gonna discard war boss here. Oh, through the breach? Oh, we're gonna be breaching, boys. Just call me the breaching boys. Those breaching boys are at it again. That's not a saying. So you had a bad day. Oh, Tristani. Oh god, this through the breach is gonna be ba 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 bonkers. Yeah, this is fine. Chump block. I shall chump block. I shall block chumpily. Okay, another land. So we're gonna throw the breach here, massacre him. Kill this guy, this guy, this guy. Attack you. Attack a you. This is correct, right? You <laughs> were donating for a flight? I am. Got him. So we either get to eat a Garrick or... Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, alternatively, we could have Flametongue Cobb would kill the Trostani, and then next turn we'd have eaten the Wolf as well. But uh, I don't know if I love giving them an extra turn with Garrick. So. I'm actually pretty okay with how this turned out. We can just block the Wolf. Both at Shandy? Okie dokie. Okily dokily. Well, that's unfortunate. Roll if you want to. Kill just on now. Alright, well. Great Google Great Googly Moogly. That's a solid Simpsons reference. Ooh, Mind Stone. Wow, Mind Stone. Oh, boy. Uh, what is this guy? Just exile, make two 1-1s. One so we can go block, block. Block, block. Chandra stays alive again. So we have six total mana, so we can actually go Mind Stone. Keep Chandra, exile. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's do that. They have one card in hand. Uh, add two... Is this only at sorcery speed, or could I have done that during their turn? Oh, I could have done that whenever. Well, biscuits. Don't I feel? Don't I feel sheepish? Oh no. A path that beast within. Biscuits. Wait, that's it. You're gonna. I mean, if you're just gonna keep letting me keep Chandra alive, I'm okay with it. A braid, but devil. It suddenly kills these two, which still leaves Chandra dead. So we're just gonna actually exile. Let's see what we hit. Another land. One, two, three. We can still kill two things, actually. All right, that's not bad. I 
Chandra lives to fight another day. Uh, black, black, red. <laughs> this is the longest Chandra I've ever had. This is incredible. Wow! Get out of town. Good lord. Don't call it a comeback. Oh, that would have been good. Biscuits. Probably just going to crack the Mind Stone here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Now we have seven mana. If we draw like a shoulder, I guess. Rexine Arena. Okay. Still hoping to hit a sneak attack off the top. Nope, still land. Okay. Two, three, arena. I guess this is our. This is the last. This is Chandra's last stand. But I feel good about having the arena now, at least. They're also at 10 from like three separate. Three or four separate Chandra hits. this poor Chandra she's worked so hard and got so far but in the end it doesn't even matter well that's pretty good so is that <laughs> yes excellent Woody McPrimus uh, we're just gonna kill one of your planes. Attack Vivian Reed. And then pass. And then kill your other planes. That's pretty good. Oh, that guy's good. That's not very good. That's worse. Okie dokie. Oh, natural order. I was like, how'd they even cast that guy? Oh, it all makes sense. Yep, no blocks. Ooh wee. How'd you even cast that guy, Rick? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure, you know what? I'll risk it. I'll I'll gamble. Alright, well. Boy, I feel like we held on for a long time in this game and then uh, it's all for nothing. Because they ended up hitting Vivian Reed and uh, Tireless Tracker and they drew a bunch of cards and... Uh... Does that do it? What does that do? Could steal this guy and untap it. Then we have another... Then we have 11 Trample. I think that actually does it, right? No, stealing the blocker doesn't do it. We actually, because they block the this guy and then we, they take five. I guess that does do it, right? If we take this guy, does that win us the game? They have eight blocks, so they take three, four, five, six, right? But we get another beast out of it, is the thing. 
if we steal a blocker, they can block the 4-4 with the 4-4. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Sure. Okay. I don't think it matters either way, because this would be 11 power in, in trample. So even if they double block, they block 1 and 1. They're taking 3 here and 3 here at 6. I think both wins us the game. I just wanted to make sure. Celis Conscripts is a hell of a drug. I think Rampage might just be good enough to keep in here. Same thing with Firebolt if they got a bunch of small dirtily dirtily dirtles. Sundering Titan doesn't seem great here. Uh, same thing with Legion War Boss, but whatever. Yeah, you can take a Legion War Boss. Cause you had a bad day. Got a mulligan cause I only have... Yeah, this hand's good. Let's put one of these guys done. This poor spider is still under this cup. After this match, I'm gonna have to put him back. Put him back into the real world. He's gonna go outside on a little journey. Don't stop believing. Mm, biscuits. I think this is more important. Because we have nothing to ramp into next turn anyway. So, Honesty stream, gun to your head. If you had the power to ban one card right now in the following format, which one do you ban? Don't even think too much about it. Just the first card that comes to mind. Standard, uh, standard Nexus of Fate, or no, or three drop Teferi. I think three drop Teferi is is more obnoxious. Uh, modern, I would say probably Hogak, just for safety reasons. And M twenty limited. That I don't know, actually. Risen Reef? <laughs> I want to just play this, but then they just kill it, right? So we just play Mindstone, and then we threw the Breach Thran. No, that seems terrible. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. If they want to kill it, that's totally fine. Wait, why is this? Yeah, pay the one. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. Do we guarantee through the breach this guy next turn, or do we Yog Moth here? I think we guarantee through the breach next turn. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, I mean Hogak was like forty percent of the um forty percent of the Mythic Championship decks, even after Bridge from the Low was gone, so you know, at a certain point, it's just like, okay, this card shouldn't have been made, and uh, that's not okay. Island is an unacceptable answer. That is true. I agree with you. That is a classy response, and I'm proud of you. Yeah, because, Matt, I wasn't just saying that out of nowhere. Um, I was literally at Togek because of the fact that the deck is not, the deck is still around. If you look at the top, the decks, you know, you know how usually during Pro Tours they'll have like decks that went, uh, you know, eight zero or better, decks that went seven zero or better, seven seven two or better, seven eight seven one or better, decks that went six two or better. Um, Forty percent of all those decks were Hogak decks. Like it's just Hogak after Hogak, after Hogak. You got it. 
clue it up. Seven years I go to work at night. That's a little rush for you guys. You like rush? You guys like uh, you guys like rush? Sounds like a cat coughing up furballs. What does? What sounds like that? This is where they go. Wood natural lore. This Woodfall Primus is doing some serious work. Yeah, it turns out 8-8 eight, eight Tramplers for zero mana. Really good. You know, um, I'm trying to think of the last time Wizards made a free card. And it didn't backfire. I'm not sure it's ever happened. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good guy. Hmm. Well. Mox Amber, maybe. Even though that is starting to see some play, too. Gutshot? Hmm. 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 Pay a life, sack a creature, put a negative one counter on to one target creature, and draw a card. What plays Mox Amber? Standard decks. There's standard decks that are that have Mox Amber in it. There are standard legendary Planeswalker decks that have... Mox Amber went way up and down value after Fibbletip was printed. I mean, really just hoping they don't have, uh, you know, actually we should attack with the beast first. If we attack with the beast, then they end up blocking, then we can go Yawgmoth, sack something. But the problem is like, no, it's definitely not why did they print that playable, but the point is like, all these free spells, one thing you want to consider, all the free spells... The, the more cards that are printed, the better they begin to, to become. Like, Birthing Pod, every card that gets printed, Birthing Pod gets better because you have more and more options, right? So, I mean, eventually you get to a point where, you know, maybe Mox Amber's going to be amazing. What if you want to do a set where, like, it's got a ton of one-mana legendary cards and, like, it's super possible. But, I mean, like, it's just, a, it's just you know, speculative, of course. But these cards, you need to watch out for them because they're free. Cause you had a bad day. Did you guys have a bad day? They just block here, right? That's not worth it. And you know, also I'm not saying it's ever gonna ever it's not gonna it's not gonna ever it's not gonna always be broken, right? But Or it's not guaranteed that it's gonna always be broken. It's not gonna there's no guarantee that it's gonna be broken is what I'm getting at here. But like it's possible, you know? It's a possibility. Sack another creature. Goodbye. Scavenging use. Woodfall Primus. Okay. Uh, this guy double black. Dang, I should have. I guess there's no way to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I guess we're just playing Grim Monolith. I don't see, I, don't, I mean, it's just another card we can sacrifice for P and Kieran Alar, which could actually be very, very good. Sure. Yep. 
What just happened? When? How do you mean? Wow. That's rude. Yep. Mono in hand? Mono, what are you saying right now? Monolith in hand? I played it. What are you talking about? What's going on? Ben, are you having a stroke? Are you stroking out? All right. So, my con I'm concerned with this scavenging ooze and its ability to get ever larger. We have a potential, we have the potential to draw a lot of cards, though. Uh, it does, but they sacked the creature in response, in which case it fizzles the ability, as it were. Uh, no, just you. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to pass here. How many creatures? There's one, two, three more creatures in graveyards, so this guy can be a 7-7? Seven, seven? Yikes. Sack to what? Sack to its own ability. Sacrifice Whisper Elemental. Until the end of turn, face up non-token creatures you control gain. When this creature dies, manifest the top card of your library. <whistles> they had that clue forever? How long have they had that clue? I feel like I didn't even see that clue. They've had that clue for 35 years. All right, so we're going to crack this because I don't think we're uh, in need of mana. We're also going to draw this swamp, so let's draw out of that nonsense. Okay, we didn't do it. Get in there. So we had a bad day. Yeah, we're just going to keep passing here, I guess. We're going to wait for the uh, natural... Yeah, get rid of my Mind Stone. Yeah, get right through the breach. Yep, I have no graveyard. You got it. You got it. Yep, that guy's getting bigger. That's what she said? What does that even mean? Well, <laughs> oh boy. Sacrifice another creature, put one kind of one target creature, sure. That's good. Did they whiff on flats? Did they only have two two planes in the deck? What's even happening right now? This this game has been quite weird. Well, that's pleasant. Well, there's one creature they can exile. Which they're going to do now. Makes it a 5-5. Five five. Choose its one target creature. I will choose you. I will sacrifice the thopter oh that would have been good where were you a second ago 
Okie dokie. That should, uh, that should seal the deal, I imagine. I'm no expert, but... I feel like us having a 6-5, a 2-4, a 2-2, and an Angross Rampage is pretty good. And they have conceded from the game. Is that 2-1? Did we 2-1 again? I'm okay with 2-1. I think 2-1 is the ideal record outside of 3-0. If you don't 3-0... You should 2 one. That's what I always say. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon, on Twitch. <laughs> on Twitch, on CoolStuffInc.com, and on ManaTraders.com. All of those links and promo codes are in the description below, so be sure to check those out. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate uh, the time and 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 financial investment you guys uh, you guys contribute to the stream. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.